Oh, today on this Meetup Monday, we are going to be talking about the truth about TikTokers. what is up and welcome back to my channel uh, for those who don't know me my name is Sierra and I'm so excited to have you here um, for a new video today on this meetup Monday we are going to be talking about the truth about tiktokers now tiktok is a very popular app nowadays I just recently got on it uh, I was against it for a while but then I hopped on the trend because I love to dance. And since I'm not doing dance, dance performances anymore, this is kind of a way to let my dance creativity or dance bug out. But I'm so excited for this video. Now, before we get started with this video, uh, we're gonna take a minute, go ahead and grab coffee, grab tea. I have some green tea this time, which is absolutely amazing. Green tea with honey is so good. Uh, grab some soda. Sorry, I'm from the South. I think in the South, the stereotype is calling everything Coke. I say soda. Um, grab some Coke, Sprite, uh, water, because we gotta stay hydrated, people. Anything. And come sit down with me, and we're gonna dive right into the truth about TikTokers. Before this happens, I want you guys to hit the like button so i know that you guys enjoy these videos comment down below other truths or other fun videos that you would like to see uh, hit the subscribe button so you can watch my videos and also turn on your post bell, post bell notifications <laughs> so that way you know the next time i upload and yeah let's go ahead and just hop right into this now i know there is a ton of drama surrounding tiktok famous tiktokers and everything that they're doing, especially with the pandemic. And it's just crazy to see everything that they're doing and able to do. But I'm gonna play devil's advocate in this as the truth behind TikTokers. First off, if we're in high school or a young adult, they are our age. So anything really that they're experiencing is stuff that we've experienced. Not everything, because they are like famous and rich and have rich people problems <laughs> but they're still struggling with the same age stuff whether that be insecurity whether that be uh you know your friend group drama which is what we hear a lot about and overall just making stupid decisions i mean how many of us have made stupid decisions in high school because i know i have even as a young adult i haven't made as many but there, there are the moments you know and guess what everything that they do is in the public eye and so everything that we've gone through, that they're going through, like similar situations, it's the only thing that's different is it's just we all see it. It's all public knowledge, whereas the only public knowledge about ours is probably within maybe our friend group or maybe our community, but that's about it. With that being said, I mean, it doesn't excuse any, any actions that are illegal or wrong. But I'm just saying, we, we all have done stupid things. As I said, we're all going through the same situations. We're all growing up. So drinking, I mean, if we're all underage drinking or even of age drinking, uh, having parties is pretty normal. Uh, the whole dating and messy breakups is really normal. And you know, we see that now. I mean, for example, Addison Ray and Bryce Hall. Dating, great relationship, but they had their ups and downs of they were friends and then it seemed like they were on and then they're more friends with benefits and then they were on and off again and now they're officially dating i mean how many high school relationships like how many of us can say we knew a high school relationship that was like that because i can and i've even been through one so it's it's normal it's absolutely normal for the dating part for insecurities i mean we see addison ray is coming up with a like her own beauty line or um, who else? There are other people, like all a bunch of them are coming out with their own like merch lines. And it's very easy to spread hate to it or say, oh, that's not gonna succeed. But 
they're trying like we would try to make a business in that point i mean if we're if we're smart like they are and, and know that tic, their tiktok career is not going to be forever and they're finding some kind of steady revenue while they can you know they're playing it smart we would do the same thing we promote it probably over promote it just because we really want this to succeed and you know we're gonna have our flaws with item beauty with the whole drama when she first started uh of with the bronzer compact and is actually some other youtuber or instagrammers catchphrase and you know it just happens that's just more public eye stuff with all that being said though we don't know them we don't know who they really are behind what they show us we don't know this the whole story of situations i mean even in our friend groups i don't think any of us figure out the whole story um I mean, my friend, my ex friend group, my not friend group anymore, but my high school friend group, uh, we would, you know, there'd be drama all the time. And there's always three sides to the story. There's person A, person B, and there's the truth somewhere in the middle. And majority of the time we would never get to the full truth. And the sad part was we would start picking sides on it. And you know what? I feel like we all do the same thing with whether it be TikTokers, whether it be Bachelor Nation, whether it be all sorts of just uh, political parties, big one nowadays, but all sorts of drama just because we, we think that we know the truth and we really don't. And so I would encourage you guys, don't go commenting what you think happened. Don't go commenting hate because you have this preconceived idea that this is what happened. We don't know what happened. And until someone like comes out, until both parties come out and we can find the middle ground, even then, I don't think we should be saying anything because it's not our personal business. That's their business. That's what they need to sort out. Even though I know it's drama is so intriguing. Like, let me tell you, so good sometimes. And story times will be happening on here, which is all about drama, but I don't think we should be spreading hate, which is a big thing that influencers push is don't spread hate. And I agree with that. Like, yes, they are going to be stupid moments. Bryce Hall having this huge 21st birthday party in the middle of a pandemic, not the brightest idea in the world or all these, since we're talking about TikTokers, TikTokers going and hanging out at Saddle Ranch together. Like it seems innocent. It doesn't seem like it's wrong, but in the middle of the situation we're in, it's not the best, it's not the smartest thing to do. But that doesn't give us the right to like shame them and beat them down because they just need to learn from their mistakes. And kindness goes a long way. Like even just commenting, hey, this wasn't the brightest idea. Please, I, I follow you, please do better. I wanna see you do better. And just giving them the support that the good support, not the negative support, I think would it would change social media for the better. It would go a long way, honestly. So, in summation, uh, be nice. Just know that they are going through similar situations that we are, whether we can see that or not. Um, and just to be nice about it, offer a word of encouragement, be supportive, stop the negativity, because TikTok, wow. TikTokers um, are humans just like us with feelings just like us. And they are learning from their mistakes just like us. That is all I have to say about the truth around TikTokers. I hope you enjoyed. I know it wasn't like juicy tea. Tea. Uh, <laughs> I just put that together. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope this kind of offered some positive insight and positive application um and it was very helpful just to understand and have our eyes open to what really happens and what we can do about it for the better so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below uh what kind of videos you would like to see how i can do better with my um, channel and my video content subscribe and turn the post bell notification so you're notified when those better videos are uploaded. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.